OpenAI just released AgentKit, which allows us to create autonomous AI agents all within one platform. And I can find it on platform.openai slash agent builder. I can then go to create. And this right here is what the UI looks like. So the way it actually looks. And I can start adding steps. So in this case, I can start here. We have the agent, which in this case would be the agent that we use in our automations. We can toggle include chat history, yes or no. We can choose the model that we wanna use. We can also choose the reasoning effort right here. We can then connect the tools to the client tool chat kit, which is a chatbot. We can connect this to an MCP, file search, web search, code interpreter, and also the function local and the custom local as well. So let's say I wanted to build an agent that could look through this document right here, which has different pieces of information about this so-called uh, e-commerce store called Novomart for the account details, the orders and checkouts, the delivery information, and so on, that we can then query, so we can then ask questions about when talking to the AI agent. All I have to do is go inside and I can say, make a prompt for an AI agent that acts as a customer service agent to answer any questions about our company. So I can press update, and this will now use AI to actually draft the prompt that we're gonna give to the AI agent right here. If I go in, I can see that we have the prompt right here. Very easy, very sweet. I can then connect the tools to the file search, and drop in the document full of information right here. And I can name the document uh, Novamart FAQ. I can press attach. This will now add the document to the tools of this AI agent. And all I have to do simply is go to preview. I can say, hey, what's the shipping policy? I can press enter. And what this will now do is that it will activate this. It will talk to the AI agent. We can now see that the AI agent is reasoning and asking itself questions based on the document. And then we get the answer. So thanks for checking. We shipped to 50 plus countries in the US, XYZ, and gives us a full breakdown Plus it references the document that it used as well, which isn't crazy helpful now, but it is helpful when we have 50 to 100 documents. So we know exactly where the information came from. Now I've made a full video showing you step-by-step step how this feature works, how you can set it up, and what this means for tools like make.com or anytend. If you want access to it, make sure to check out the first link down below.